Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you are new on this channel I would love if you could hit the subscribe button and join our family. So yeah today we're here with a spooky video. Ooh. <laughs> so I get excited for Halloween every year but obviously this year it's kind of a bit more difficult to get excited for it as you know with covid and there's no there's gonna be no halloween parties or anything going on this year but as i'm on youtube now and doing all this kind of thing so i, I still want to create halloween looks and just have fun and yeah and it's gone out to football so he might just come back to me looking like a complete weirdo so <laughs> That's always a fun thing. So yeah, I've not really planned this makeup look. I've done something similar in the past. So I kind of know what I'm working off. But we're just going to play around with it and just kind of go with it and see what happens. So I'm just going to film this and then I'll probably do like a voiceover over the top of what I'm doing. So I can just kind of just concentrate and just get on with the makeup. But yeah, we're just going to roll with it. See what happens. Let's have a bit of fun and try and create this fun jester look. Ooh. <laughs> and zoom. Hey, <laughs> so creepy. So the first step I did was I put some concealer on. So I just wanted to conceal the redness that I have on my face, unfortunately. And that was just using the Collections Concealer. So I just blended that in with a soft, fluffy brush. And then my next step after doing concealer was to get my foundation. So I've been using the L'Oreal True Match. I just find it's a nice foundation. And I was using a sponge just to blend that in around my face. So my first step in terms of face paint, I use the Snazaroo brand. So I've just got some red face paint. Uh, Snazaru is a really good brand by the way, it's quite cheap, <laughs> I buy it off eBay. But yeah, so I decided to start marking out the red point with the red face paint with a thin brush just to try and, just try and get the lines quite slim. And then I used a slightly bigger brush just to fill in the gap. And then the second part is I decided to do the other side with a black face paint. First of all, I didn't quite put enough face paint on the brush, <laughs> but I'm also using the thin brush, which I've just washed out. I do like to keep a pot of water next to me while I'm using the face paint and a makeup wipe just so I can clean off the brush when I'm done. But yeah, then I just fill this in. I kind of st still filled this in with a thin brush because I didn't have another brush to use. I didn't want to ruin my brushes. <laughs> So then after I'd done these, I decided to draw on the circles above and below the triangle marks that I've just made. And I spent quite a while trying to make sure they were quite round, <laughs> which is very difficult. So then using a fluffy brush, I decided to use red eyeshadow for this black side and I wanted to use some black eyeshadow on the red side. It took me a little bit to decide what I wanted to do because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to go with the same colour. But I actually think that putting the opposite colour with the opposite eye, I think it actually worked quite well and I really liked how it turned out. So I was literally just getting a brush and just blending out this colour. It wasn't really neat or anything like that, I was just blending it out any old how. Thank you. 
And at this point, while I was blending out the eyeshadow with my finger, I actually just decided I'm just going to drag it down the side of my eyes to give it more of a... I wanted it to look like a messy look, so like a bit more smudgy. So I literally just decided to do this after I was like, well, I'm going to do a neat line. And then I changed my mind and went, you know what? I'm going to make it all smudgy. So it's purposely messy. And then I actually quite liked how it looks. So I just roll with it. <laughs> And then at this point I took a white eyeshadow just to kind of put a little bit of highlight above the colours that I'd already put on my eye. So then after that I used a highlighter which I think is just a Makeup Revolution highlighter or MUA, it might be one of those, I can't remember. But yeah, so I used my highlighter to just highlight the inner corner of my eye. And then I decided to take a Glitter Collections liner and I just wanted to go in the corner of my eyes just to give it a little bit of sparkle because I love a, a glam Halloween sparkly look. So then I took my felt tip liner which is my MUA eyeliner and I like to use a felt eyeliner first to mark out my eyeliner because it's neater to use and then I tend to go back over it with a liquid liner to make it stay because I found that felt tip liner smudges quite easily so I just use that as a do the line first and then I go over it to make sure it dries. So at this point I decided it was definitely time for some glitter and this was something that I've done in this look similar before. So I just put some eyelash glue and dabbed it slightly on the parts that I wanted the glitter. I got myself a q-tip I dabbed it in the glitter so I could be more precise and then I just dabbed this all over the eyelash glue after I let it dry for a little bit. I actually quite like how this glitter turned out. And then of course it was time for mascara because I was happy with how the eyes looked in general so I just wanted to get all that done first and then I used my Maybelline mascara which is my favourite mascara at the moment. So as you can see I did go over the top of my felt liner with some liquid eyeliner which I used the Revolution eyeliner and oh my god that stuff is amazing. If you want eyeliner that does not move then use this because I, I had a little clip which I filmed of me trying to take off eyeliner with a makeup wipe. It did not budge. It's amazing. So yeah I would highly recommend this stuff. So the next step was to create a cute little clown nose. I wasn't sure whether to do it red or black, but I decided to go with the black. So I literally just dipped my thin brush in the black face paint and just drew myself on a little tiny cute nose. So the next step was drawing the mouth on. So I wasn't quite sure how I was doing this. I just kind of like roll with it. But basically I overdraw the lips because obviously clowns have big lips drawn normally. So I was purposely overdrawing my lips and I was just basically just outlining my lips really and then just dragging it out to an extended smile. I was trying so hard to get this so neat. <laughs> So this next point was just something I randomly decided to do. I wasn't sure that I was going to do this in the first place, but I just decided to get a little, little bit of red eyeshadow and just kind of blend out it, blend it out into the black because I wanted to use a bit of fake blood as well and make it look a little bit more creepy because it was just kind of a little bit too neat for me. I didn't want it to look that neat. So I thought I'd just make it look a bit more spooky. <laughs> So 
So then at this point I got my bottle of fake blood. Now this is a bottle that I actually bought from our local like fancy dress shop and it was recommended to me and it's a really good one that looks real and acts like so it drips like real blood because I hate the fake blood that's like really cheap and it looks like jelly it's just the worst but this stuff was amazing so I literally just dribbled it on my face and as you can see I, it just kept dripping and I just had to try and put my face up so that it didn't get all over the floor because I couldn't stop it from running so I just kind of rolled with it and let it dribble down my face but I just kind of like dabbed it out a little bit and then I just started to add little bits around the mouth with just little bits more fake blood and just letting it drip and then just kind of dabbing some of it out. So at this point, because I've been faffing around blending the fake blood and red eyeshadow into the black, I just wanted to go back over it and neaten it up. And some of the black wasn't as clear because I'd only put like a layer on it, it was a bit watery. So I just decided to go over the black that I'd already done with just a better layer of face paint. I also randomly decided to use the black for my eyebrows. I don't know why, I just randomly thought, okay, I want my eyebrows to just stand out and not just be these like pale eyebrows. So for whatever reason, I decided to do my eyebrows in black. So at this point I decided to switch into my vest top so that I could paint down my neck because the jumper I was wearing I was kind of covering my neck. But then after I changed I also decided I want to put fake eyelashes on so I have just added some fake eyelashes to the look as it's a dramatic eye look so I felt like the big eyelashes would add to it and it really did. I liked how they looked. So this was the point where I decided to start adding the stripes down my neck. For some reason, I was finding this really difficult this time compared to last time. And I, I think I just couldn't remember how I did it. So they just, they weren't as neat as I liked them to be. But that was fine because I was kind of going for more of a messy, creepy, jester clown look. So that was fine. So I'm just going to speed through me just trying to do these stripes in some kind of weird, messy way. <laughs> And here you have the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you like how this looks. And yeah, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be making some more Halloween makeup looks, so I'm excited. So see you guys soon.